Hello, this is Abela David. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sum and count by cell color using the sum product function. So let's get started. Now let's see our sample data set. We have the order date, we have the account manager and the sys amount. Now each of the account manager's sys amount is color coded using a specific cell color. For instance, all the sys amount for account manager named Natasha Love are color coded using orange cell color. For Yvonne Matthew, we used light blue cell color. Conor Rulibet, I used red. And of course, for Abela David, purple. Now, these are the four unique cell colors. And because we have four unique account manager, now this data set is formatted in an Excel table. So we have the table design contextual ribbon tab. And the name of my table is sum underscore TDL. Now, what I'm going to do is to create a named range using the get dot cell. So come to the formulas tab in the defined names. Click on name manager. In the name manager intermediate dialog box, click on new. Now, in this new name, I need to provide a name for my named range. So I'm going to just type in sum of color without any space. And of course, it's going to be visible across the entire workbook. And that's the scope. So for my reference, I'm going to play this equal sign get dot cell open parenthesis. So I'm going to type in 38 because I'm interested in the cell column comma. Then we need exclamation mark. And I want to ref reference cell C2. So I'm going to just type in C2 close parenthesis and I hit OK. So we have it available in the name manager so i'm going to close this now in cell d2 equal sign sum of color so when i press my tab key and i hit f9 now we have 44 because 44 is the number attached to orange color so i'm going to press my control z and i hit control enter so we have the numbers here so 44 is for orange 33 for light blue 3 for red and 29 for purple so let's just give it a meaningful name. So color code and I hit enter. Control shift L to get rid of the filter button. Now let's come to cell H8. So I'm going to type in equal sign sum of color. Now because we have red color here and we know that red color will return three. So when I hit F9, boom, it return three. That means it's working. Control Z. Now I'm going to come right after the equal sign. So I want to check whether this is equal to whatever is the number of color inside the sum of color. So when I eat F9, we have a bunch of trues and false. Now we have true in the fourth row, which is this. Yeah. And we have true here also, which is this. So I'm going to press Control Z to go back. So I'm going to wrap everything inside the sum product function. So equal sign sum product. Now let's see the definition. The sum product returns the sum of the product of corresponding ranges or an array. So I'm going to press my tab key. Now I'm going to just open another parenthesis. And this is the column I'm going to select, which is sum underscore tbl and in a square bracket we have six amount which is the name of the column so i'm going to close this then i'm going to use multiplied open another parenthesis and then i'm going to close this and close the sum product so when i eat f9 to verify it's going to deliver eight three eight four nine two so control z and i eat control enter so when I copy the formula down and we apply Ctrl Shift F4 and let's just get rid of the decimals. Now we can see for the red, the sum is 838,492. Let's verify. So I'm going to click on this, hold my Ctrl key. Let's select all the red. Now in the status bar, we have 838492, which is accurate. That's awesome. Now let's verify for 
the orange so i select all the orange holding down my control key okay and one more and that will give us two million two thirty five thousand three fifty and that's exactly what we have here this is amazing so we have seen how to use the sum product tool count to sum by cell column now let's see the counts and that is one of the most tricky one again we have the same sample data column the upper column so let's do this okay color code so ctrl shift l to get rid of the filter now let's do it again some product then one multiplied open parenthesis and i'm going to select all this color code and i want to check is it equal to sum of color close close enter now it gives us five so when i copy down we have five six six four now let's count mean that we have count of five red rows let's see the first one hold my control key let's select all the red now in our status bar we have count of five so it's accurate now let's count for the orange cells so holding down my control key so we are selecting all the orange cells and that give us count of six and that is accurate let's do for the light blue okay this and this and that give us count of four that is amazing so we have seen how to count and to sum by cell color using the powerful sum product function i believe you've learned something new if you enjoyed this video give some likes and ensure that you click the bell icon to be notified of new videos and of course if you have not subscribed ensure you click on the subscribe button thank you and bye for now